In this video, I want to look at how to solve rational inequalities. So inequalities that involve some kind of rational expression. The first step, let's set up the inequality to be of one of these four forms. R is greater than zero, less than zero, greater than or equal to zero, or less than or equal to zero, where R is my rational expression. We then need to solve R equal to zero, as well as determine where that equation is going to be undefined. So where we might be dividing by zero. We're then going to plot all of these points that we found in step two on a number line, and that is going to break our number line into intervals. We'll then use test points for each interval to determine if it makes our, equation, our inequality true or false. So let's look at some examples of applying this process. Our first example, x plus 6 over x squared plus 6x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 0. So we already have everything on one side and 0 on the other, so our first step is already completed. I'm going to go ahead and factor the denominator. We need two numbers that multiply to give 8 and add to give 6. And we can get that with 4 and 2. So I need to know when this is equal to 0. And a fraction is only equal to 0 if the numerator is equal to 0. As well as when it's undefined. So when we're dividing by 0. So in this step, I'm just going to set the numerator equal to 0 and the denominator equal to 0. That gives me negative 6 here, and then negative 4 and negative 2 over here. So I'm going to plot these points on a number line. They don't have to be perfect. Here's about negative 6, negative 4, and negative 2. So now I have four intervals, one over here, less than negative 6, between negative 6 and negative 4, between negative 4 and negative 2, and then bigger than negative 2. Let's start on the left. We need a number that's in this interval that is smaller than negative six. So let's do negative seven. And I actually wanna plug it into this form of my inequality. All I really care about is whether this thing is positive or negative. So I'm only gonna pay attention to signs. Negative seven plus six is negative over. Negative seven plus four is negative. Negative seven plus two is negative. A negative times a negative is positive, and negative divided by positive is negative. So in this interval here, it's going to be negative. Now let's pick a number between negative six and negative four, like negative five. Negative five plus six is positive, over. Negative five plus four is negative. Negative five plus two is negative. Negative times negative is positive. Positive divided by positive is positive. So in that interval, it is positive. Between negative 4 and negative 2, I can use negative 3. Negative 3 plus 6 is positive. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative. And if I work this out, I would get a negative number. So that whole interval will be negative. Finally, I need a number bigger than negative two, like zero. Zero plus six is positive. Zero plus four is positive. Zero plus two is positive, so this would be positive. And I wanna know when this thing is bigger than zero, so I want the positive pieces. So I need between negative six and negative four, as well as bigger than negative two. So when we write this, we need to be very careful about parentheses versus square brackets because this is greater than or equal to. At negative 6, if I actually plug in negative 6, I get 0 over a number, and that's allowed since 0 over a number is 0. But if I plug in negative 4, I would get 2 over 0, and that is not allowed. So I actually have parentheses on both negative 4 and negative 2, since this thing is actually not defined at those points. So when we have a greater than or equal to 0 or a less than or equal to 0. We're going to use parentheses on the points where it's not defined. 
in square brackets on the points where it actually is equal to zero. Next, let's look at four over x plus two is greater than two. I do need everything on one side, so I'm going to subtract two from both sides. And I want this to be a single fraction over here to help me simplify things a little bit more. So I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by x plus two. I'm gonna multiply two by x plus two over x plus two. That gives me four over x plus two minus 2x plus 4 over x plus 2. So 4 minus 2x minus 4, since I do need to distribute that negative sign. Or negative 2x over x plus 2. We set the top equal to 0 to get x equal to 0. And we set the bottom equal to 0 to get x equal to negative 2. So those are my points for my number line. Let's start with this interval on the left, a number smaller than negative two, like negative three. And I'm gonna plug it into this form of the inequality down here. Negative three times negative two is positive. Negative three plus two is negative. So a positive divided by a negative is negative. A number between negative two and zero would be negative one. Negative two times negative one is positive. Negative one plus two is positive, so that would be positive. Finally, a number bigger than zero, like one. Negative two times one is negative. One plus two is positive, so that would be a negative. And I wanna know when this thing is greater than zero, so when it's positive. So we have the interval between negative two and zero, and since I just want it strictly greater than, not equal to, I'll use parentheses everywhere. Let's do one more. X squared minus nine over X plus five. I'm gonna start by going ahead and factoring to get X plus three X minus three over X plus five is less than or equal to zero. So we need to set the numerator equal to zero to figure out when this is actually equal to zero. And the denominator equal to zero to figure out where this is undefined. So we get that it's equal to zero at negative three and three and undefined at negative five. So when I draw my number line, I need to include the points negative five, negative three, and three. Let's start by picking a number smaller than negative five, like negative six. And I'm gonna plug it into this form of my inequality. Negative six plus three is negative. Negative six minus three is negative, and negative six plus five is negative. And a negative times a negative divided by a negative is negative. Next, let's pick a number between negative five and negative three, like negative four. Negative four plus three is negative, negative four minus three is negative, and negative four plus five is positive. And that would work out to be a positive number. A number between negative three and three would be zero. Zero plus three is positive. Zero minus three is negative, and zero plus five is positive. That would work out to be a negative number. Finally, a number bigger than three would be four. Four plus three is positive. Four minus three is positive, and four plus five is positive, so that would be positive. I wanna know when this is less than or equal to zero, so I wanna consider the negative pieces. So we're gonna go from negative infinity to negative five, as well as between negative three and three. This was not defined at negative five, so we use a parenthesis at negative five. It was actually equal to zero at negative three and three, so I'll use square brackets there. 